And this is a look at Barbados right now after Hurricane Barrel, now a Category 5, tore through the Caribbean. We now know harbors were ruined and Barbadians tried to salvage their boats and their businesses after the storm. At least one person confirmed dead in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but there may be even more fatalities. Let's check in with first warning meteorologist Jim Zoyan. Jim, um, we heard now a Category 5 storm. Just came over a couple of minutes ago from the National Hurricane Center. We saw it strengthening as the evening was going on, and yes, now officially at Category 5. July 1st in a Category 5 hurricane in the Caribbean. It's going to make its way toward the Gulf of Mexico, but the intensity forecast really hasn't changed much. We're concerned about this storm. It's going to move toward the Yucatan and the Gulf of Mexico, but it's still expected to weaken significantly. Let's take a look at it right now. 1950 miles away from our studios right here at WDSU and the CBD. I just did the math. There you see it. Category 5 storm. Obviously very symmetrical, very well formed, a very well formed eye right here. Here is the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. You can see that still. They have it weakening for two reasons. Drier air is going to be mixing in. There's also going to be upper level wind shear Wednesday, Thursday. Here we are Friday into Saturday. Tropical storm making its way into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Now we're concerned about the fact that yes, there's going to be a tropical storm here in the southern Gulf. Friday and Saturday, but obviously you can see that even if it does take a bit more of this northerly jog, as it's expected to do as that high pressure ridge weakens a little bit, it's still just going to be a tropical storm. Still just a tropical storm. One for us to track very, very closely, but the weakening is going to be a big key for us. In the short term, it's hot. We have temperatures that are still in the 80s, 89 at the lakefront. Excessive heat warning in effect again tomorrow, but there is some relief in the, uh, from the heat in our extended forecast which we'll have for you coming up here on WDSU.